hello everyone today i will show you how you, you can uh, uninstall the pre-installed apps to make your phone faster and you can also change the dpi, DPI in your device in this way so let's begin so first you have to install the uh, jdk java development kit so just uh, follow me uh, so i will give all the links to these uh, applications in the description so just follow the video here so download the version for windows x64 which is 64 bit windows uh, ok download the exe accept it alright it will take some time depending on your internet speed let it download ok uh, so this is the main tool so this is uh, developed by Sizaki uh, if my pronunciation is right so you have to download the jar file from here So the JDK has been downloaded. Just click on open and accept the administrator prompt and let it install. Click next, next. Okay. Alright, uh, there are a few more steps that you have to complete for Java to work properly in your device. I will show you. Uh, you have to change some things in the environment variables. Otherwise, it will not work. So, I have not changed it yet. So, let's check if Java is installed. So, Java is not recognized as an internal or external command. That means it's not working. Even though you have installed the application, it will not work. So go to start menu and uh, type environment okay. environment variables window will open. Okay. This is system properties. Go to environment variables and uh, then set the path in the system variables um, section. So click on path. Um, okay, right there. I'm going to delete the previous one and show you how you can add a new path to the Java binary. So go to your uh, this PC and to the C drive and it should be inside the program files.
happen. It was just before my eyes, but I couldn't see it there. I looked for it in other locations. Uh, it should be in program X64. Okay. Yeah, you can see that just before my eyes. It's a Java folder, but I couldn't see it then. Okay. I see it and then go to the again okay okay even now it won't work because I have not closed the system properties window so you have to close it completely I have closed it now go to the command prompt and type java so if it is installed many things will pop up in the screen so that means it's working properly uh, i am checking if it's also working in administrator mode so it's working okay now uh let's open the main thing the main software the environment has been set okay i will give you another uh, file that contains the adp and fastboot tools so you have to extract that into a folder so i am making a new folder here called the aaa whatever so copy all the files from that adp and fastboot zip to this folder and also copy the xiaomi ADP fastboot tools into this folder too. Now you can just double click it to open it. Make sure that your phone is connected to your PC via the USB cable and the developer option is turned on and USB debugging is turned on too. If you don't know what USB debugging is uh, then you can just search in YouTube for other videos in maybe other channels okay so it's showing that my device is connected in adv mode um, so now as you can see there are many apps here that you can uninstall no root needed for this so i will show you how to uninstall this weather app okay also don't try to uninstall all of them because God knows what will happen then don't try to uninstall them all just um, whether if it's safe to uninstall I'm just showing one I have uninstalled many others uh, before this so whether it will be uninstalled from your phone all right it's done uh, here you can see in the reinstall section I have uh, uninstalled all these apps so this gives you uh, more storage and uh, maybe a little bit better RAM management here you can see MSA uh, MIY system apps uh, MIPE I don't use this so just uninstall them so in this way you can deblot you can uninstall many apps uh, from here settings right here you can give any value that you want uh, but uh, there are more things you have to do in order for it to work you can also change the resolution of your screen but it's showing some errors here i don't know why maybe it will work for your device so if you try to apply it now it may show some errors to fix this you have to go to the usb debugging option and enable the security settings as it's being shown here so you have to switch to your phone uh, for enabling these uh, security settings okay. ok 
okay after opening your phone go to the settings <coughs> sorry um, then go to the developer options and uh, the developer option is enabled USB debugging is enabled too but you have to enable the security settings and for this you need some kind of network connection too either mobile data or Wi-Fi otherwise it won't work so first time when I was trying to do it it failed in the last step okay just keep on accepting it click on next 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 and it don't work you have to connect to the network so I am turning off my Wi-Fi and now let's try once again just follow the steps click next accept it and it should work now you have to switch to your PC uh, work with the DPA option again so I have set it 320 and clicked apply so done that means it's working uh, you will be able to see that the contents in your screen will change in size depending on the uh, DPA value you can set it uh, you shouldn't set it uh, too high because that may cause your phone to get bricked and you will have to factory reset the phone so don't set it too high keep it below like 600 or something and uh, in the next video I will show you how you can uh, back up your data so that uh, in the worst case you can always uh, restore the data even after even after a uh, factory reset so thank you and uh, see you in the next video goodbye